Muslim residents say they've lived in fear since leaked documents revealed that NYPD's demographics unit was keeping tabs on Muslim neighborhoods, mosques, and businesses. Faiza Ali was one of several Muslim community leaders who has met with NYPD officials to criticize the program. It created a lot of mistrust amongst community members, um, as well as um, it pushed the community away from law enforcement. The program was established in the wake of 9-11. It used surveillance and informants to try to prevent terrorist attacks. But by the department's own admission, it generated no leads. For over a decade, we've been watching where Muslims eat, where they pray, where they hang out, um, and haven't really found any evidence of criminal activities. There is also a question about how legal the tactic is. Nermeen Arastu is behind one of two lawsuits filed against the department. She says it goes against the Constitution. This kind of surveillance singled out the Muslim community, um, and it had a, both a discriminatory, discriminatory effect and a discriminatory purpose. So it was a violation of the Equal Protection Clause. Iris II compared the surveillance to the controversial stop and frisk program. With the disbanding of the demographics unit and the NYPD pulling back on tactics such as stop and frisk, some see this as a new direction for the department under the de Blasio administration. The new administration, you know, with um, you know Mayor de Blasio and Commissioner Bratton, really creates uh, like new opportunity for a conversation. Um, and you know, whereas in the past, under Commissioner Kelly and Mayor Bloomberg, you know, these were these were two people who were unapologetic about the Muslim surveillance program. Former police commissioner Ray Kelly has previously said the demographics unit was necessary. We couldn't rely on the federal government alone, Kelly said. I believe we had to create our own counterterrorism capacity and create our own counterterrorism division. Some say the department may have gotten overzealous. This is not a tactic that's been used extensively over the last 30, 40 years. So it's a work in progress and it will, just like everything else, it have to be changed and tweaked. The Arab American Association has given the NYPD some feedback and says it's working towards mending relations between the NYPD and the Muslim community. Priska Pointe du Jour, Columbia News Tonight.